Welcome to Mrs. Fisher's English class. I'll talk to you about my policies and procedures. I am always available to tutor, so please schedule the time that you need me to tutor so that I know to be there. Additionally, at school, at 0730 in the library, there's always a tutor. Outside of the classroom, the security guard is always in charge, so if you're having a problem or someone's misbehaving or someone comes on campus, please tell the security guard. If you can't find a security guard, tell a teacher. Procedures for the building. Access during recess and lunch to the building is off limits. You're supposed to stay outside of the building. Procedures during your four minute breaks between classes. You have four minutes between the classes to go to the bathroom and get your supplies ready for my class. Do not enter my class without my permission or without me being present. If you were in my class previously, you need to exit the class and bring your pencil, planner, and ID. Thank you. When we enter my classroom, I want you to all line up in alphabetical order, have your ID, planner, and pencil out, and then you're going to stand in a straight row, wait your turns, and then you're, as you enter, we're going to make eye contact and greet one another. Procedures for beginning class, we will begin immediately. So, enter silently, sit down, get out your homework, sharpen your pencil if you need to, copy the homework assignment in your planner, place your homework and planner on the right corner of your desk, and begin your great start. I will have a bunch of different helpers, and these jobs are available to anybody. Policies and procedure helpers for my mail courier. You will be the person responsible for handing back all papers in the folder. And I have a planner pal. And you will wait three minutes and silently stamp all planners green if they are filled out correctly. Write down the names of those without planners and red stamp those who did not correctly write down the home. My absentee agent will check seating charts for who is absent, write all the names on a sticky note, get the absentee red folder, Send out any papers to returning students. Throughout the class, collect handouts for the absent people and write students' names absent on the date and place the handout in the red folder. After the class, put the red folder in the class inbox. Thank you. My homework helper, you're going to ensure the heading is on each page. Label the folder with the assignment. Check off only if they turned in the assignment. Box those students who do not turn in the assignment. Collect and stamp all homework in the folder. Place the homework folder on my desk to grade. My file clerk, you will file all papers that need to be filed into the students' portfolios. My hall pass and pencil monitor, you will stamp students' planners for a hall pass and ensure that they signed out on the log and that they wear the hall pass that I provided. For pencil borrowing, you will be sure that the student that signs out the pencil and returns the pencil at the end of the day. Please keep your area tidy. Timekeeper. Keep track of the time for each event and ensure class ends six minutes prior to the bell so that we can have our reflection. My daily MC, when the timer rings, you will explain today's big idea, our essential questions, learning targets, our common core standards, and today's agenda. The reader leader, you will be starting music, you'll read the chunk of text, you'll annotate on the overhead, um, repeat this process over and over again, and then you will end our reciprocal reading. Then I have my reflective representative. My reflective representative will be the person who talks about what we learned that day. Um, during class, all pass procedure. Each class has seven um, has a hall pass monitor. Each student is authorized five hall passes per quarter. Keep track in your planner to use the bathroom. Raise your hand, crossing your two fingers. After I say or gesture yes, sign out on my exit log and in your planner and wear the hall pass. All pass monitor will sign or stamp your planner. The procedure for your header on your papers. Always put your grade book, first and last name, your class period, the date, and your student number. Thank you. Procedure for 
for passing papers. When we're passing papers out, pass them to the right. When we're passing papers in, we're going to pass them to the left. Then the front row person collects each row. When in the table teams, we're going to pass to desk A, and student 1A and 4A will collect them all. No eating, drinking, or chewing gum in the classroom. No littering on the floor or putting trash in the desk. After class, place rubbish in the trash can. Thank you. Gum procedure. There's no gum chewing. If you are chewing gum, I will hand you a piece of paper. The student chewing gum will place your gum in the paper. After class, throw it in the trash on your way out of the room. Then come back the next day during recess to scrape gum off the furniture or clean the classroom. Thank you. Policy. Please bring your supplies to class. You need to bring your springboard book, a red pen, a black pen, number two pencils, loose notebook paper in a folder, and highlighters, pink, green, blue, and yellow. Bring your books and supplies to class. Do not borrow mine. If you have an emergency and need a writing utensil, prior to sitting down, borrow a pencil by signing it out on the clipboard, then have a seat and begin your great start assignment. After class, please return the pencil. All right, the grading policy. This is Copperway Middle School's grading policy. All summatives are worth 85% and your formatives are 15%. Please update your email address and I will send out weekly grade updates. Please check your grades on Jupiter Grades every week. Thank you. Bags and purses. Keep your bags and purses and other subject books on the floor under your desk. No books or bags are to be in the aisles, on an empty table, or on your lap. Springboard book planner and notebook are to be on your desk. There's no sleeping in class, no yawning rudely, no leaning on walls or windowsills. Sit up straight, do not rest your head on the table or on your arm. If you are sleepy, lift your feet three to four inches off the ground. This will wake you up. Your head and eyes and body should be oriented to the front of the class and your feet and knees under the desk. Do not touch the table behind you or put your feet on the chair in front of you. Do not tip back in your chair. Do not touch others. Stay seated at all times. Thank you. Okay, so here's some hand signals that we use. If you wish to speak, raise your index finger. If you wish to leave your seat to get water, raise two fingers. If you need to use the restroom, you cross those two fingers. If you need help during independent work, Raise three fingers, and if you need help during collaboration, raise the assistance flag, and that is the duct-taped American flag. Sharpening your pencils during the Great Start assignment. That's when I want you to sharpen them. However, if your pencil lead breaks during class, raise your two fingers and your pencil in the other hand, and then I'll know that you need to go sharpen your pencil. Team collaboration procedures. Okay, so when your team is together, you guys should be working as a team. You are responsible for your own work. You are to ask a team member for help if you have a question. You must help if you are asked for help. You may ask for help from the teacher after the entire group agrees on a question. And you must use six inch voices. You must remain seated and you must remain on task. Off-limit areas, um, my desk, everything, um, my teacher's closet, my stool, my bell, my horn, my cups, my scissors, my hole punch, my stapler. Um, please ask before touching any of these things. I did make a student center just for you, so you should have all the supplies that you need. Thank you. English is very important. Please pay attention at all times. Two-thirds of your College Board SAT are going to and your SBAT. Um, is English. All college students must take three semesters of English. You need to know what I am teaching you, so please focus. Thank you. Um, there's no excuse for cheating. All assignments have exemplars posted on the wall. All papers have a rubric and an exemplar, and homework help is available before and after school days. The bell does not dismiss you. I will dismiss you. 
before you leave, organize and inventory your supplies, place up all rubbish, tuck your chair in, straighten the row, and the last class of the day will stack the chair. Absentee procedure. If you are absent, all handouts that you missed are in the red folder in your class inbox. Copy another student's planner for any missed homework assignments. See me after or before school if you need help or need to make up a test. Classroom conduct alert systems. Okay, so if I were to chime the bell, that just means all students immediately stop, look, and listen. Warning, the homework horn, if I honk it, this indicates that our classroom learning community is off task or too loud. The second time I honk that homework, that means the entire class will have an additional homework assignment. I am a bully buster. No bullies allowed. If someone is picking on you or you know someone is being bullied, please come see me. I want to stop it. Thank you. So, these are listed on our wall. These are our great expectation policies. These are our positive classroom behaviors. Please positively contribute to an academic atmosphere by following the handbook rules, being polite and courteous toward everyone, remaining in your seat, raising your hand to talk, remaining on topic, and keeping your hands to yourself. Please actively participate in your learning by listening attentively, taking notes, participating in class discussions, sharpening your pencil before class, using the restroom during recess and breaks, bringing supplies to school, and keeping your notebook and book bag organized. Purposefully keep the classroom clean by picking up any rubbish in your area, cleaning off marks made in your area, emptying the pencil sharpener after use, wiping off the sink and computer after use, eating and drinking outside of the classroom, chewing gum off campus, and placing rather than throwing items. Consciously stop the spread of germs by sneezing, coughing, and blowing your nose into a tissue, throwing your tissue in the trash can, washing your hands after using the bathroom, sneezing, or coughing, and staying home if you are sick. So here are my consequences um, for um, off-task behavior. Students will reflect on what I did, why I did it, my plan for not repeating it, and how it affects my classroom community. So, this is individual. The first offense will be a warning. You'll get a slip of paper that says that you are receiving your first warning. Please check your behavior and make all adjustments that you need in your behavior so you can refocus on learning. The second offense, I will simply hand you a refocus form and we'll have you identify your behavior, um, find out what you need to do in order to modify your behavior so you can refocus on the learning and also to analyze how your behavior can affect those around you. Your third offense will be another iteration of filling out refocus form and this time it will be accompanied with detention. And the fourth offense, I will then take your refocus form and I will attach it to a referral and I will send it to the vice principal or to the counselor. Hopefully you don't have any questions, but if you do, you can email me at donnakfisher at gmail.com. Thank you.